we will discuss how to relate equation with the graph with the help of five multiple choice test questions with you i am anil kumar welcome to my youtube channel and the website global math institute in this video we have multiple choice questions for you to test how do we sketch lines using intercepts we have five questions to work with question number 1 is match the graph with ax plus by equals to c where a b and c are greater than 0 it will be one of these as you can see this graph mainly has x and y intercepts while the line diagonally crosses through quadrant 3 here it passes through quadrant 4 in this case quadrant 2 and in this case quadrant 1 now which one of these is the right answer for matching with line ax plus by equals to c where all are positive correct question number 2 so we again have ax plus by equals to c but in this case a is negative less than 0 but b and c are positive so now which is the right match question number 3 here we have b which is less than 0 and e and c are greater than 0 another combination and what really happens in such cases while answering these questions you will also understand how do we relate these equations with their graph a very important learning now we have changed the equation do you see that the now equation is ax minus by equals to c where all of them are positive right like in the first case how we have minus in between question number 5 is ax minus by equals to c when a is negative and b and c are positive perfect so i hope the question is absolutely clear you can pause the video answer the question in case you want to learn from me you can always send an email on the address given most of my students are doing extremely well some are right there on top of their class getting highest marks and awards like akshit after attending university the winner of this year's certificate of achievement shulik leader award is akshit kandivan <laughs> Great. Our student Akshit gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now let's begin solving these questions one by one. I would like you to once again look into how do we find x and y intercepts. when a equation of the line is given to us in the given form ax plus by equals to c well as you know to find the x intercept you have to substitute y as 0 in that case in ax plus by equals to c y is 0 so this will be 0 you are left with ax equals to c as you can see and so x is the ratio of c and d e. in our cases we have to figure out for different combinations of c and e whether they are positive or negative according you'll get x intercept on the right or on the left side get the idea now to find the y intercept you substitute x equals to 0 and y intercept is c over b that means this c divided by the b perfect so whenever the equation is given to you in this form in that case you can say that the x intercept will be c over a and the y intercept will be c over b make sense so these are the two x intercepts keeping that in mind let us now answer the questions one by one i hope that helps right okay so the very first one here is ax plus by equals to c all are positive and you know the x intercept is when x is equal to what c divided by a right c divided by a is x intercept and the y intercept is c divided by b right so y intercept 
AC divided by B. Since all are positive, we know that they should be greater than 0, correct? Positive things when multiplied with one another, it will result into positive. And since both are positive, that means we are looking into this kind of a graph and therefore option D seems to be the right option. Also note that in this case, when both are positive, then the graph actually forms a triangle in quadrant 1. Do you see that? Okay, so we got the first answer being D. Correct. Most of you must have got this right. Now let's move forward and see the answer for question number 2. Well, same strategy, same equations. So, the x-intercept, as you know, is what? Is C divided by E. And the y-intercept is what? C divided by B. However, in this case, A is less than 0, right? So, we are saying A is negative, correct? And B and C are positive. So, B is greater than 0 and C is also greater than 0. So, in that case, what happens? Well, this ratio is C over A, right? So, let me clearly write the C. C over A is negative. It means this will be less than 0. We are looking for x to be negative and for y, which is C over B. Both are positive, so that has to be positive. So, y intercept is on the positive half and x is on the negative half. Which one will now match? Well, clearly, this one matches. Do you see that? And therefore, in this case, option C is the right option. Perfect. So, this is a case where we have A, which is less than 0, B is greater than 0, C is greater than 0, right? And the equation being AX plus BY equals to C. Makes sense? Perfect. So, that is the solution. Option C is the right option. Absolutely clear to you? Perfect. In case you really want to learn all the concepts and get ahead of competition, you can always contact me on the email address given. Let's look into the third question strategy. As you know, is absolutely clear, right? X intercept and Y intercept. The equation given to us is AX plus BY equals to C, X intercept being Y equals to 0, C divided by A, right? C divided by A. And the Y intercept is C divided by B. Now, let's look into the condition. We are given that B is less than 0, but A and C are positive. Since A and C both are positive, this number has to be greater than 0. However, here B is less than 0, but C is positive. So, that number is going to be less than 0. We are looking for Y intercept negative value and X as a positive value. So, that matches. Perfect. So, in this particular case, you see that B is less than 0. However, A and C are both greater than 0. Correct? The equation still is AX plus BY equals to C. Makes sense? So, that is how you are going to check the answers and you have the solution. Perfect. The last two are for you to try. Correct? So, go patiently through them and then answer. Well, here is a help. First note that AX minus BY equals to C is now the equation. So, we have changed the equation. So make a note of that. Correct? So, what is the X intercept? X intercept will be the ratio of C and A. Well, let's write it down. Right? And the Y intercept is what? Well, the Y intercept is C over minus B. Right? So, it's a negative part. Do you see that? Now, let's look into the condition all are positive, that clearly means that x intercept is always greater than 0, but the y intercept in this case will be less than 0. So, x is on the positive side, y is on the negative side. So, once again, we get option B as the right option, correct? So, we know that A, B and C are all greater than 0, but the equation is AX minus BY equals to C. Is that clear to you? Perfect. That is how you have to answer these questions. Well, the last question for you is AX minus BY equals to C. So, the equation is AX minus BY equals to C. The condition is A is negative, B and C are positive. Okay. Let's write down the X intercept, which is going to be equal to C by A, right? C by A. 
and the y-intercept is going to be c by b, but b is negative, so that is going to be negative. Now, a is negative, but b and c are positive. That means this value will be less than 0. We are looking for x negative value on this side. b and c both are positive, so cb ratio is positive. How? Multiplied by negative, it will also give me a negative result. So, both x and y are negative, so we get option a as the right option. Do you see that? So, this is the option where we see that a is less than 0, so and b and c are both greater than 0, right? The equation being ax minus by equals to c, correct? So, I hope with this you could easily solve the equations. Perfect. You practice with this more and there are many videos in this playlist for you to practice. I hope it really helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your suggestions. In case you want to learn from me once again, you can send an email on this particular address. Thanks for your time and all the best.